to Kiev and find out how how that speech has gone down there. We can speak to our correspondent Gulliver Cragg, who's standing by for us. Uh, Gulliver, uh, I mean, we did know some of uh, the content of that speech beforehand, but nevertheless, uh, I'd imagine uh, quite a lot of what President Putin said this evening uh, sent a chill through uh, people in Kiev. Yes, I think that's absolutely the right way to describe it. People here were listening to that speech pretty much in horror. I mean, I, while I was listening to it, I was uh, looking at social media and seeing uh, what some people were writing. The editor-in-chief of uh, the Kiev Independent, the expat paper here, wrote, uh, the world's biggest war criminal has been uh, talking for an hour now, basically about how my country has no right to exist. People are reacting, I think, with anger and with fear. It's also worth pointing out just how much of what Vladimir Putin said was completely untrue from his very skewed analysis of history to his assessment of the current Ukrainian government, which he repeatedly referred to as a regime or as a colony. Uh, the reality is uh, that Ukraine, although it is a flawed democracy with many problems with corruption, is nevertheless absolutely a democracy. Since Vladimir Putin has been in power, Ukraine has had five presidents. Um, only one Ukrainian president has ever been re-elected. They lose elections and they leave power when they lose elections democratically, with the exception of Viktor Yanukovych, who fled after a, a popular uprising against him turned violent in 2014, which is what, in a way, of course, started this whole crisis with the annexation of Crimea as Russia's initial reaction and then sparking that conflict uh, in the Donbass. So his speech was full of things that Ukrainians basically reject as being completely factually untrue and as hugely aggressive against their country and extremely uh, foreboding in terms of uh, what kind of action Vladimir Putin now plans to take. And he didn't say what that would be. That, of course, leaves people here feeling pretty afraid.